sometimes when you're wrong, you just have to put your hand up and admit it. And so far this season, Nico Hulkenberg has been really good. When Haas announced Nico Hulkenberg would be joining the team, I was a little bit skeptical, simply because he is sort of getting older now, and I didn't really know what he would bring to the team, or really offer, or what he could change. One of the big arguments was his experience, and that he is fairly adaptable, very much able to get into a car after some time off, and kind of be on pace very quickly and get used to the machinery in a very fast manner. And he has proven that he is that sort of driver once again in 2023. Now I know it only has been three races, but so far so good. And so far after these three races, he has proven me wrong. And you know what? I am happy to be proven wrong. I hope for the best for any driver that is in Formula One, especially any Haas driver, considering they are a team that I really like and a team that I personally support. So, I guess now the question is, can he keep this up for the rest of the season? Because we know how good Kevin Magnussen is as well, and how he is able to pull together some great results for Haas, which of course for that team is super important. If he is able to continue with this form, and Kevin Magnussen is ready to get up to pace and kind of get into the swing of things, which I'm sure he will, this is going to be a great season for Haas. Both of these drivers have a great amount of experience now, especially Nico Hülkenberg. He's been in the game for a very long time. He's been racing in Formula One through various different eras, and I think it is a good thing for Haas. Now, as you guys would know, I am a Mick Schumacher fan. I really do rate Mick as a good driver. I think he is very good considering all of the pressure that has been on his shoulders. And I was a little bit disappointed when Haas decided to drop him. I really did think he deserved one more season, and I, I still stand by that. I really did think at the time that he deserved another shot, another season at least. But going by how Nico Hülkenberg has been performing, I mean, you kind of just have to admit, and I'll, I'll admit it, it turned out to be the right decision. Now, in saying that, we don't know how Mick Schumacher would have done. What if he had a great season so far? If he was racing in 2023? That is a question we don't know, but at least this decision by Haas so far after three races seems to be paying off. The Nico Hülkenberg apology form has been uh, definitely filled out by myself over the last few weeks. I think he's been really good. And you know what? I'll, I'll, just, I'll just put it out there. I'll admit it. My respect for the guy has gone up, you know, I, I'll put my hand up and I'll say it. Looking at his qualifying results, you can really tell that this is where his strength lies. His strength really is in qualifying at the moment. Making it into Q3 is a big deal for Haas. That's, that's a great position for them to be in. It puts them in a really good spot for the race. They're not too far back. They're kind of in that pack where it's going to be competitive. That is where they're going to score the points, the top 10. If they can sit around that sort of level all season, this is going to be great for the Constructors' Championship and really good for Haas. I know a lot of people really want Haas to do well, but there is also the camp that Haas just don't really mean much to them. They don't really care too much. They've given Haas too many chances. They can't get it together. I think this is the season that can really turn that opinion around for many, many F1 fans that aren't too keen on Haas. There's a lot I like about Haas, and I'm not going to go into it because I've made a video on this before on why I am a Haas fan and why I support them. So I'll put that in the cards and the description. I guess what's so impressive about Nico Hülkenberg, and I know a lot of people like to talk about he never won a podium, he never did this, he may be choked during moments where he really should have capitalized and really solidified himself as a really good, consistent driver that should remain in Formula One. Because I think that was one of the things where the debate was. I think a lot of people thought he didn't do enough, he didn't properly prove himself to be in F1. I think that the more consistent he gets and the more that he keeps showing up and kind of proving that he still has it and that he is such an adaptable driver really helps his case. And it changes the opinion of people like me. My opinion really is starting to change on Nico Hülkenberg. I think I've found, as I said before, I found this new respect for him. And I really do think that he has just done a great job so far. And I also think it helps that he's doing it 
with Haas, a team that I really want to do well and a team that I support, of course, it's going to make me like him even more. But like anything in Formula One, and we say it all the time, it is about staying consistent. One or two great performances isn't going to be enough. If he can sustain this throughout the whole season, I mean, this is going to be absolutely huge. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that are still very kind of upset with the Mick Schumacher decision, the decision to replace him and get rid of him. And I'm still not 100% completely satisfied with the treatment of Mick Schumacher while he was at Haas. From a fan's perspective, at least, I'm not saying Haas are these horrible people, but I still think more could have been done to guide him, especially with his circumstances. We saw Toto Wolf actually say not too long ago, just a few days ago actually, that Haas and Gunter Steiner would not have treated Mick Schumacher how they treated him had his father Michael been trackside. And I think that that is an incredible point. If Michael Schumacher is trackside and guiding Mick Schumacher, I think that that would have changed everything for Mick. Think of that. Think of having someone like Michael Schumacher in your corner. He's Mick's dad being there to support him and guide him. You've got probably, in my opinion, the greatest F1 driver to ever do it helping you during your early years in Formula One, the most important time in your career, arguably. The point where you need to make a statement and really show everyone why you're not just a rookie, but you're someone who is here to stay and be there in the long term. But either way, I mean, you kind of just have to be happy with what's going on right now with Nico Hülkenberg, what he is doing for Haas. It's great, it's positive, and it needs to continue because Haas, I think, have the capabilities to really be a good team in Formula 1, be a decent midfield team and build on that because that is exactly what a team like Haas needs to do. Now, I know it's only been three races, but I really want to hear your opinion on this situation because I think it is a very interesting thing for us to follow throughout the season because I think Hülkenberg and Haas and Magnussen, I think it's a really good partnership now. And I think if it can be consistent and they can build on it, it's going to be great and exciting. So let me know your opinion in the comment section below. I look forward to reading them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and the like button. It would help me out a lot. As always, thank you very much for watching.